In this video, we're gonna be talking about three major tips to become incredibly disciplined, but also stay disciplined. And I can say as someone who has released over a thousand videos on my YouTube channel and amassed over 40,000 subscribers, I know a thing or two about staying disciplined and having goals. So step number one is having a clear vision of what you want, or as I say, beginning with the end in mind. So you might be asking yourself, what do you mean by that? What does it mean to begin with the end in mind? Well, I'll tell you. Let's say you're planning to go on a road trip. Before you just get in your car and start driving, you decide where you're going to go, you look up how you're going to get there, and most importantly, you have all the tools necessary to ensure that you actually make it to your destination safely and on time. And so within that all-encompassing plan, you're going to have macro goals and a micro goal. That macro goal is to get to your destination. But of course, you have to ask yourself, well, how am I going to do that? And of course, the micro goals would be how it's actually done. So ask yourself right now, do you have any sort of goals that you want to achieve in life? And if you do, it's okay if you don't know how to achieve them just yet. But this is where a lot of people mess up because they don't have the micro understood as far as saying, okay, in order to get to this point, I have to do these steps. A lot of people look at that top pinnacle point and say, I could never get there or, it's a lot of work and I don't really know where to start or I'm going to aimlessly just try and do things and try and try my best to get to that point. So let's just say for a more relatable goal, you're trying to get in shape. And to you, I might ask, well, what is in shape to you? This is a super important question to have answered because if you just say, I want to get in shape, you might go to the gym, you might try and be health conscious with your food, but you're not really aiming for anything. So honestly, answer that question for yourself. Is it gain a certain amount of muscle, lose a certain amount of weight, be able to push a certain amount of weight in the gym, have a certain level of cardio, answer the question truthfully for yourself. And then once you've answered that question, go backwards and say, okay, well, what does it actually take to get there? What does it mean to actually get to this goal? Do I have to start cutting out certain types of food? Do I have to start going to the gym a certain amount of time? Should I be doing certain workouts at the gym? Should I be tracking my workouts? Should I be tracking my sets and my reps and my rest time? How specific can I possibly go? And if you're truly trying to be disciplined or truly trying to reach a specific goal, this is how it's done. And I can say even for myself at this point in time, I've ingrained a lot of these habits into myself. So I'm not thinking about it and micromanaging myself to such a hardcore degree where, where it feels incredibly tedious or incredibly overwhelming to think about these things every single day. I'm just saying from the beginning, this is how you have to start until you can internalize it for yourself. And of course, it doesn't have to be fitness. It doesn't have to be going on a road trip. It can be whatever your main pinnacle goal happens to be. Look at the very top and then work your way backwards. This is gonna be step number one to make sure that you can stay on task and stay disciplined. So step number one is we have our goals and we have our roadmap, but step number two is our mentality. And this is super, super important. And the mentality that I like to have and has actually helped me become as successful as I have is asking myself, if I want to be the best, what does that look like? People that are in my industry already that are the best, what do they do? How can I do what they're doing? And I will say that a lot of people also get this wrong as well. And the reason is because when people think to themselves that they have to try and be the best, that a lot of the times they get caught up in thinking that they are the best. I'm not saying you should think that you are the best. What I am saying is that you should try to be the best. Whether or not you actually accomplish becoming the absolute best in your field or becoming the most successful in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, that's not what's important. What is important is that if you are to truly try and be the best, you are going to have an insane amount of discipline to make sure that you're staying on task with everything that you're trying to accomplish. Because here's the thing, for anyone who is truly the best at whatever it is that they are doing, they have a certain presence about themselves. They have a certain way that they carry themselves. They have this certain level of discipline where wherever the average person would say no, or I'm too tired, or this is too difficult, the successful person or the person that's trying to be the best says, how do I get this done? I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to finish this. I don't care if I'm not good enough yet. I'm going to get good enough. You have to put yourself in the mindset of, I don't care how good everybody else is. I just want to know what the record is. Whatever the record is, I'm aiming for that. Whether or not I actually get there, I'm going to do everything within my power every single day for as long as it takes to get to that point. And tip number three, in my opinion, is the most important is accountability. If it's to be, it's up to me, which means nobody is going to push you to do anything. Discipline comes from within. So it doesn't matter if you're tired. It doesn't matter if you're burnt out. It doesn't matter if you're feeling sad. 
Your emotions literally do not matter whatsoever when it comes to your discipline. And I say this because if you've ever been part of a sports team or if you've ever been in the military, no one cares how you feel. You're here to perform a job and that is it. And I will say in the realm of being part of a team, of course, there are people that are going to count on you. But when it comes to real life, why is it that even for yourself, you can perform for other people, but you can't perform for yourself? And I will say it feels difficult because when you're doing everything for yourself, you don't get a lot of validation. You don't get a lot of pats on the back. And that for a lot of people is the make or break as far as continuing with whatever they're trying to pull off in life, as far as trying to be successful in anything. Whether it's their fitness journey, building up their social media, starting a business, it doesn't matter. And so I'll say it again, discipline comes from within. You cannot care about the outside forces of other people and allowing them to affect you. People could try and put you in a great mood or a terrible mood. At the end of the day, you have to perform for yourself. This is a very strong mentality trait that I've had for myself for a very long time. If you're someone who's been watching the YouTube channel for the past four or five years, at this point, you know, and you've seen me have my highs and have my lows as far as the performance of the channel, but the consistency of the videos being uploaded, the consistency of the quality of the videos escalating constantly has always been there. Regardless of how people have felt, regardless of the comment section, regardless of my subscriber count. And this is just an example using myself, but if you're truly trying to accomplish something for yourself, it doesn't matter what it is, you have to think in this way. Anyone who has been successful has thought in this way. You have yourself. Having support and having a team or having a family, anything outside of that, that is bonus. And when you finally reach that point for yourself, it almost feels like a superpower where it's like, I don't care if my entire team quits. I don't care if I have an off day sometimes. If I show up and I perform and I do my best, that's all I can ask for. And if I don't quit and I stay consistent, then that is what discipline is. And so I'll leave you with this. No one who has become ultra successful has ever wanted to sleep more than they've wanted to be successful.